That's a good one. That's a good one. What's up everybody? Jack Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. I am here in Delaware with my twin brother Jake, Top Tactic Fishing. We are fishing for carp. This is the Brandywine Creek that goes right into the Delaware River. And Jake, tell us what you're doing here. So we're getting the rods set up right now. I'm putting on a method feeder, which acts as a bank seeker, but it also acts as a uh, way to put your pack bait on there. Um, so, and then this is, you know, hair rig you use for carp, okay? Now guys, I caught a carp about a couple months ago fishing South Chickamauga Creek and pretty much use the same stuff that Jake is using. And uh, this area is actually kind of a sketchy area, isn't that right? Yeah, it's it's come a long ways, but um, there used to be a bar here that was at that platform down there. There used to be something else over here as well, but there's a security guard we have. You can see the, the trailer there. So is it like a stage thing? Tell us about that. It's, like. it's staged. Um, so there's a sign outside his RV that says security guard, and there's a dummy right there in an orange jacket, <laughs> dressed up, looking like a person, just to kind of keep things at bay. Right. Keep things safe. You know, people think that there's somebody there. They're not going to do anything. So. And you said people have been murdered here, right? Yeah, not recently, though. Jeez. Like a few years ago, like four or five years ago drug dealing. So. Well, I hope we'll be okay, man. We'll be fine. I'm going to go over here and check this out yeah, because this is interesting. And I guess at night is when people probably come out here and do illegal stuff. But yeah, Jake's right. There's a dummy right here. I guess that's supposed to scare people off. And then there's a guy over there who kind of patrols this area. So to kind of let people know that somebody is here at all times. But guys, this is my first day here in the Philadelphia area. We're probably about 30 minutes away from the city. And this is Jake's neck of the woods. He's caught a lot of big carp here. He's put people on a lot of big carp. And I'm just here for the for the ride, really. Uh, he's gonna set everything up, and but this is a tiny creek. Right now, it's low tide. You can see the mud. In about a couple hours, the tide's gonna be coming in. But right now, we are fishing low tide. So let's see what we can do. Stay tuned. So we're only just taking a very small handful. Rub it against the bucket. gotten a lot better at just using less pack bait and how to kind of work. See how it's almost covered already? Only just took a small handful. It's okay to have a little bit of it open. That's fine. <clears throat> the heavier, if you have too much on there, it can make it really hard to cast. Sure. So. As I learned from a couple months ago when I used the pack bait. Alright. So this one's ready to go. This is to the, you can see here, the triple stack of Juicy Pear Corn. That tide is really going out. It's like a mud pit. So when it takes it, it's going to go out like that. Looks like Jake is hooked up with a catfish. Small. Yeah. You should be able to. Yeah. Check 
lights out. I never even knew that. There used to be a bar here, though, too, right? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. It's called uh, Dick Grant's Up the Creek. Oh, really? Take your time walk down. Yep, I gotcha. We are hooked up with a carp. Yep, it's a pretty good one. That feels decent. Welcome to the mud pit. <laughs> Welcome to the mud pit. You don't walk all the way out there, do you? Uh, it might be hard. You're going to have to. It's hard. You can stay right there, Joe. Yeah. Just, uh, just try to bring him to where the water is and I'll get him. Yeah, he ain't too big. He's kind of small. That's all right, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try and make myself to that wood platform there a little bit. Is it a carp you think or a cat? That's a carp. Yeah, it's a carp. It ain't that hard, is it? So why we wear these boots? Jake, you were like crawling, man. It was good. It's a pretty good one. Try to watch the line. I know. I got gotcha. you. I'm going to try to coax him over here for you. Here he is. All right, we got him. Here's this. You take this. I think we got a double. Yep, fish on. This is a pretty small one. Maybe a catfish. 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 See if I can. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and get this channel cat unhooked. And then we're going to go see that carp over there. Second channel catfish of the day and the carp which we're going to go check out over here maybe 12 13 pounds what do you got there joe it's a nice carp this is a nice carp here this is uh this one fell for a triple stack of juicy pear corn 12 and a half pounds. This is Joe's first carp of the day. Yeah, this is the worst of it with the low tide. It's hard. And I know. Tide, so. We'll get them though. Walk towards the wood there. Yeah, I see it. Be careful. Okay. 
walk side of these what I do. You want to put head first in there. I'm just going to get the dog like Mike and you're going to sink a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to let the beautiful fish though. You can tell he's really healthy. Should be fine. Yep. We're move on. There he goes. This is another catfish. Wait. Yeah. There's something on there. It's a cat. I could just tell. This one came on the boilie. That's a good one. That's a good one. He's all the way over there. How's it feel? Feels good. Not like the other one if you think so? I don't know, it felt pretty good. Could have been instruction too. Yeah, he's not really in that cat because I got snagged on here on Monday. I got snagged on here earlier before. Uh, no, that's a carp, dude. There we go, there's the run. All right, guys, we are literally in a mud pit. I mean, look, it is super muddy. Oh, geez. Your drag is set really good, man, really good. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait right here with you. I can't scoop one because it's so there we go. Okay. Fifteen? Hey, let me give you some slack. Gosh, if I can. Oh, my boot is stuck. Oh, man. And you're not kidding. I'm going to go with 17 pounds. 17? Yeah, it's a 17. That's your. That could be a new PD for you. Ah, it's close. It's a nice one, Nux, man. Nice. That's a nice chunk. Now here's what's even better is doing this. Yeah! There we go guys. 17 pound common carp. Close to my PB. I don't know if it is my PB, but it's it's close. We're gonna go and do the release now. 17 pounds. Fish on, guys. Another catfish. I've been fooled by. I thought it was a catfish the 
Nah, it's it. it it's like that last one. Yeah. Oh yeah. That might be the biggest one we caught though, yeah, right? Uh, or is it like the other one? Run the other one. Here we go. When you get this one, what do you want it? Up to you. You get it, Jake. He's on there? Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, just keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Came off? That was a good run, right? He's on there. Got him. Small. It's channel. Okay. All right. At least you're not like, I caught a lot smaller than Really? Yeah, it's still small, but it's good heater size, actually. So. Little guy. It sounds like a cat, though. All right. What do you know? I'm going to get up oh, with cat. Here we go. Fish on. Catfish. Sick of these cats, man. This is on the corn, too. Hold on a second. It's getting bigger. <laughs> now, nah, this is carp. Yeah, it's good, so Yeah, it's a carp. Right. It's a small one. That was during the transition from low to high tide. Still a beautiful fish, man. Oh yeah. I just love catching carp. We're gonna go ahead and call quits for today. Eight fish, five channel cats, and three carp. Biggest being at 17 pounds, 12 and a half, and then that eight, nine pounder. Jake is chumming the area. I guess to maybe come back for another session or something. So yeah, keeps the fish around. So keeps the carp around. But yeah guys, we're gonna go and call it. Give a thumbs up for this video. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, Jake does have a YouTube channel. He's no stranger to the Chat Cats Fishing channel. I have a few videos putting him on some nice catfish. The channel is called Top Tactic Fishing, so make sure you guys check out his videos. But as always, guys, give a thumbs up for this video, and we'll see you later.